ground for France and invasion. We've just crossed over the coast of France. And all around us, along the coast, that act fire is going up, way to the right, the way off to the left. But in front of us, there's nothing coming up at all. I can see away on our right, the river, which is our main guide for coming into the landing zone, which is on the left of the river. And there now, I can see the, the light, which is to guide us in to our main landing zone. I was crouching the barge, so I didn't show you, okay, this is it. So I jumped up, grabbed my gear, jumped into the water. It was a long way from the shore, further than I thought it had been, about 300 yards. Jumped into the water, it was deeper than I thought. I started to swim. We eventually made the sea wall. Just as we get alongside the tank, bow, we thought we were pretty good then. A Jerry 88 millimeter gun hit our tank and blew us the hell out of it. I'm lying down at full length here in the cornfield. Just in the hedges around me, I can see many men taking shelter behind the banks with wearing their steel helmets while the terrific barrage goes on around us. In this barrage, we've got our 4.2-inch mortars, our field guns, our medium guns, all the guns of the fleet. The shells are whistling overhead now. Just listen to them. this little Normandy church, two or three miles from Caen, wants me to say how sorry he is about these bells. His village has only just been liberated, and it's taken until yesterday to clean up the many German snipers left in hiding. When I asked the curé if we might record the bells of his church ringing in celebration of the village's freedom, he asked me to wait for a week, and this is why. They used to have a very lovely little carillon in this church. Only three bells, but they were very proud of it and many of the villagers were expert bell ringers. But when the Allies freed the village, three German snipers hid in the square tower of the church, and for two nights they were very troublesome. At last they gave themselves up, but it was found that they had smashed the big bell of the Carillon. Monsieur le Curé promised that if I would only wait a week, he would have the big bell repaired and you could hear the full Carillon. But he added that in any case, they were going to ring the remaining two bells at once this morning to celebrate our coming. And I thought that you would rather hear the bells now, even though the big one has been smashed by the Germans, to let you know that the people of Normandy are celebrating their liberation, that church bells are ringing, and the villagers are going to mass to give thanks for their freedom. <laughs> 